I'm driving my entirely solar powered prototype yacht away from Finland, away from the cold. This is the first journey out with the Helios 11, a roughly 35 foot long liveaboard yacht rated for cross-Atlantic travel but that remains to be seen. I still have to run the initial sea trials to test out all the features to ensure that it is truly seaworthy. Right now we're cruising slowly with a speed of five knots. We gotta make sure I don't hit anything here. We're in a channel leaving the city of Turku. As I said, we're traveling five knots now at uh, 1.3 kilowatts only. I have a 6 kilowatt engine in the back on this ultra lightweight Explorer yacht and uh, the top speed is fairly impressive, 8.5 knots and the cruising speed in solar conditions is roughly 7 knots. Now because it's so dark outside, it is late late in the autumn I would say it's pretty much winter already here in Finland. There's no light, it is cloudy, rainy. I'm only getting very small readings on my solar panels. So I gotta travel carefully, slowly to optimize my range. The Helios 11 is the first of its kind, completely self-sufficient solar, having also backup sails to increase propulsion as well as functioning as a reserve engine. I do not have any petrol engine on board, only the solar, roughly 5 kilowatts in sunny conditions and uh, 2 to 3 kilowatts in uh, semi-sunny conditions and right now I'm only generating 400 kilowatts in this extremely cloudy weather. But if we test here, I can actually Take the throttle down to, let's say, 400. I'm gonna show it to you here. Now we have 400, but we're traveling uh, 3.8 knots, 3.7 knots is a reliable speed at 400 kilowatts. No, 400 watts, that's nothing. That's the secret of this lightweight design. It's a strong hull but there's no porcelain toilet seats, there's no marble tables. As I said, this is a prototype. I built this in six months in a shabby shed. I wanted to get it done immediately. I had no time to look for funding. I had no time to hire professionals. I just did it by the strength of my own hands and a bit of creativity and a lot of uh, stubbornness. And because I saw that this is possible even for me, almost single-handedly creating this boat in such a short time with remarkable precision, but of course the finish is simple. You can see I have a damn plywood steering wheel here and simple things. This isn't so beautiful. It could be much more beautiful, but the key here is that the future is here. The next version, Helios 15, a 15 meter solar Explorer yacht. Imagine this boat is gonna be ultra lightweight, approximately 2 to 2.5 tons. It will have a lot of solar energy and its cruise speed is gonna be closer to 10 knots because of the increased hull. And also this concept would be more professionally designed and better painted at the hull, better hull shape, lighter, more expensive materials and completely professional build, superior solar panels that are factory ordered specifically for a lightweight design. Now I have only basic solar panels that go on roofs of houses and these light solar panels here on the front deck and on the sides. It's outrageously simple and it's working miraculously well. So imagine what you can do with a real budget, with a real workshop and with a more refined plan. And that's what I'm gonna create, a ultralight, fully autonomous, AI-controlled yacht with all the luxury on board, as well as infinite range, infinite energy for all your appliances. You can have a sauna on board, you can have your biohacking chambers, whatever. And that is possible even on a moderate budget. The future of 
free and sovereign living on an elite level, it is already here. We don't need to have slow moving normal boats and we also don't need multi-millionaire super yachts that are yes they are also too heavy and also too slow and you have to refuel at marinas and you aren't free if you have infinite range with solar panels you don't have to worry about anything you can just focus on your mission you can just focus on exploring the world working online you have starlink on the roof everything is possible and that is why i invite you to follow this journey of helios 11 now and the progression of the true north yachts that's gonna revolutionize the way of sovereign living